to this month's CMA Connect. It's great to have you all here. I'm your host, Aviva Michaeli. Tonight, we'll be having an exciting conversation about producing and performing for audiobooks. Please welcome Julie Wilson. Julie is an audiobook producer and voiceover coach. By day, she is Director of Digital Pro Production Platforms and Strategic Partnerships, overseeing the production of all audiobooks at Penguin Random House. By night, she helps voiceover actors hone their craft. Welcome, Julie. Thank you for having me tonight. I'm happy to be here. So I have a first question for you. What are the pros or cons of audiobooks, focusing specifically on preschool through young adults? So I, I don't have many cons when it comes to audiobooks for kids. I'm I'm known in the industry as one of the producers who absolutely loves producing for kids and young adult. It is still a fraction of my list. I produce across all genres. Um, but one of the things I find to be really special is hearing kid characters told in, you know, kid voices as, as if you're speaking to them, as if you're meeting them themselves. So I think audiobooks are an excellent place for kids to play too, because they can use their imagination in a way that maybe when they're focusing on reading every single word, which can be hard for kids, especially with learning disabilities, to really focus in on the story and imagine the characters. We have a very timely question from Jerome. Is AI playing a role in any production process that you can talk about? So I'm personally always looking out for actors' best interests. Actors are my family. They're my friends. Um, we are not incorporating AI currently into the production process. And I think in the ways that people are afraid, that's not on our radar. We're how did you get started in voiceover work? What advice would you give to anyone looking to break in? And that goes for both the business professionals slash producers or actors. For both business professionals and actors, I would treat, treat them a bit differently. So for any sort of person who's trying to get in, if you're early in your career and you're mid, mid in your career, anything like that, there's always bridges from what you do to what you want to do. And this is where the strategy of your career comes in. It's thinking about, especially if you're in kids content or any sort of like kids video games, kids animation, anything that involves voices, there's such a bridge to audiobooks. So I've won, I've listened a lot. I look for what are those strategic connections? And then I'd ask for those informational interviews. <music>